Now I'm going to remove the second cupping lever, which is this. Trying not to get the shade, this puppy dog right here, and the screw for it right there. So, second coupling lever and screw and coupling lever. So, I'll just unscrew that. I think I need to get those bent tweezers, the ones that uh, pick stuff up. And I think these screw sizes are the same, so I'm going to put both these coupling levers in the same bin. Now there's some sort of a... oh there it is, it's coming out now. There we go. And actually I think I will separate them and put them in a separate bin. I'm not sure. There we go. I'm going to take off the ratchet screw and the ratchet wheel. And that's these components here. That's the ratchet screw and the ratchet wheel. The drum is underneath and the main springs underneath that. So I'm going to remove some of those components. So just take off the ratchet screw and that just screws counterclockwise. And then the uh, the ratchet wheel sits in a square hole. That way you can't screw it up. And I don't know if there's an up the uh, top and a bottom for the ratchet wheel. I just there's a ratchet wheel there. I'm holding my tweezers the wrong way, which doesn't help. So there's a ratchet wheel there. And I put that in with the ratchet screw. And this watch is full of grime. It's a pretty messy looking watch. So let's... I have to take out the click screw, which is right here. And that is the screw. I guess you can't really see it, but the click screw is right here. And that's the screw that holds the click screw and the click, which when you're... Uh, winding the watch or ratcheting it up, it uh, provides for the, it disables the, wa the uh, barrel from turning the wrong way. Now I'm going to take out the barrel and the train wheel bridge. So it's the bridge and I'm going to remove this screw, this screw, and I believe this screw here. Alright, removing the barrel, the, the barrel bridge here. There's three screws to remove for this bridge. These are pretty deep screws because this bridge is a pretty serious bridge. And try not to slide my screwdriver off. And I got to. Uh, very carefully remove these screws and put them away. Uno, duo, tre, quattro, cinque. I spy that I fia fump. Zex, sibinach, nine, ten. Now there's only supposed to be three screws holding this, so any luck this thing will come up. Oh, I got luck. There we go. The whole thing looks like it comes off in one shot. Which is very nice. It's stuck on there. We go. So there it is there. Coming off, and I'll just put that away. It's one assembly. Now I'm going to take off the center chronograph wheel. This one right here. And the third wheel. I think it's called third wheel and pinion. Third wheel and pinion, and the escape wheel and pinion. So here we go for the center wheel. I think it's basically uh, sitting there nicely. So be very careful when you remove this because it's uh, very touchy. Just kind of nudge it out and then grab it and then don't fart with it too much. And then the third wheel should be here. And there's a gear in there too so you got to watch that. So I'm going to take out the 
third wheel as well. And I'm going to be a bit anal retentive and take a picture of it. Now I have to take out the escape wheel, which is right there. That's the one that goes tick, 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 tick. So this is could be a little bit tricky. Taking the escape wheel out, we'll see. I just don't want to put too much pressure on it. I think I'd take this bridge off first before removing the escape wheel. Doesn't make much sense. Well, that's the instruction. It looks like the escape wheel is kind of caught. There we go. We got the escape wheel. I'm going to throw that with the other wheels in there too. So the escape wheel is out. That's a big move. Now I have to remove the barrel with arbor. And I think this is the arbor here. This is the barrel here. And I think I can just lift the whole damn thing out. Yep. There's the barrel with the arbor. Put that away. And then I remove after that the center wheel bridge screw Let me take a quick picture the center wheel bridge screw which is right here here this looks like a pretty shallow screw actually so I got to be careful and and be very careful lifting it up and then the center wheel bridge. I wonder if I can grab this through the holes, the two holes here. What do you think? Oh yeah, look at that. So there's the center wheel bridge coming out. I'm going to take a little quick photo of that too. And then had I removed the cannon pinion on the other side before, I'd just be able to pull out the center wheel, but I didn't remove the cannon pinion, so I might remove it or I might not remove it. We'll see. I gotta remove the minute wheel bridge screw, and there's a note there that these minute wheel bridge screws are actually different screws, so you gotta replace them in the right hole. So I'm gonna take a little photograph of those up close first before I remove them. Okay, now I'm gonna remove the minute wheel bridge screws, which are here and here. For a second I thought I had the wrong screwdriver, but this puppy dog seems to fit perfectly. Now, as they were saying, these screws are unique to... You know, one of them is for one side and the other one's for the other side, so... You don't want to mess them up. So what I'm going to do... Oh, I think I dropped it. There it is there. These are small buggers too. What I'm going to do is take a picture of this thing and take a picture of the screws just so I have the right one in the right place. Of course dropping the component doesn't help you. I'm going to take out the Take out the minute wheel and take out the setting wheel. So this is the minute wheel here. Should just lift up. And I think I can just lay that in with the other thing there. And then the setting wheel here is right next to it, which should just come up too, but I don't wanna I don't want this baby to be a problem. Well there it is. It just came up as well. The minute wheel and the setting wheel. And they look pretty gummed up. Now I gotta remove the setting lever spring, which is this spring right here. And this guy had a, caused me a problem on the last watch, the uh, 7548 I did for Jim. Because uh, I didn't have it hooked, which is not good. So it's gotta be hooked in place right here. So maybe I just unhook it first. No, I don't think so. I think we'll just take it out and then. Make sure when I install it later that I don't screw up the the install. Oh shit! No, there's nothing wrong there. See, it pressed a bit too hard there, and I think I just moved it to the second level. That's all. Everything sounds like it's going to break when you do something like that. So 
Let's uh, let me get my hands out of the way so you can see what's going on. I just put a little bit of pressure on here to enable to get that screw out without. There we go. Without uh, stripping the head. That's the, the important part. I definitely do not want to strip the head on these things. Even though I got. And there was a little bit of spring pressure there, and the screw actually popped out. And I think it popped down on the mat. Yes, it did. Today is my lucky day. Yay. Because you don't want to lose these screws either. Although I got a thousand screws from China that one of them might work. But with my luck, I'd have to buy a Seiko, a special Seiko screw for a thousand dollars. And the watch ain't worth that much. So that's levers out. And then this lever I just think popped out on its own. So I'm just going to take a quick photo of that. And then the uh, that was the setting lever. So that was the setting lever spring, and then the clutch lever. We need to take out the yoke and the lever set lever for the axis. So this little puppy dog is the yoke, so it comes out no issue. And I'll put that in there with the setting stuff and the clutch lever with axis. So. And me with my you know, retentive pictures here. This is just to document the disassembly here because I've got the documents, but you don't want to uh, screw it up next time. So that's that. And I think this doesn't come out. I believe. I believe we're done. Let me see. Now the next step was the crown stem and clutch wheel, but when I pulled everything out, the clutch wheel just fell to the ground. So there's the clutch wheel there. So I can put that in here, and then I believe, and I've got the stem and crown over here with the rest of the uh, movements, but I can put that in there, but. I'll leave it where it is. And there is the bare, the bare movement right there. Completely disassembled. The only part I didn't take out was the, the cannon pinion here and the center wheel on the other side. And I've read a lot about that and some people say, yeah, you know, look, don't bother even removing it because it's a pain in the butt and you can clean the whole damn thing in an ultrasonic cleaner, so why should you bother removing it? So anyway, that's it there. There's some jewels in place here as well and I don't believe I'm going to hand clean this so I don't believe I'm going to remove any jewels here because I just need to hand clean them and then clean out the jewels so I'll hand clean it clean out the jewels and that's it done